Hi. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel. This is the Fit and Free Show, and I want to bring you with me for just a real quick hip stretch. I uh, had a long drive earlier in this week. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. After a long couple of weeks of working with uh, only a little bit of a break, and anyway, it was a lot of new stuff for my body, and then followed by a by familiar, but long, you know, driving in the snow and sleeping in the car, and so I've got lots of kinks, lots of hitches in my giddy up, and I just did some arm stretches, which I'll be doing more of because that's a place I chronically hold stress. Um, so check out other videos if you wanna get into some of that. But right now, I thought I would do a quick hip stretch because that's the other thing after driving it's feeling a little tension and stress and I think um, whether you're driving or whether you're just sitting at the desk or sitting watching television or um, if you're standing all day in any case the hips do a lot of work for us a lot of times they're underappreciated and overworked and I think it's a good idea to keep them limber and uh, able to move in as many directions as possible, uh, flexible without, you know, also strong. Um, yeah, hips are an area that can cause problems in a life. And so uh, that's true of every, it's like, duh, so can every part, right? So that's why it's important <sighs> to check in with the whole body. All that said, I'm going to bring my attention into the bottoms of my feet. I'm going to bring the feet out to a little wider than hip width apart, kind of a nice comfortable horse stance distance, mostly so that I can see you, but also uh, helps with the stretch. Use a little pocket. Let's start from the bottom and move on up today since I'm in a straddle position. So I'm going to do what I call hip dips. And for me, that brings a stretch into the inner thigh. I'm going to just start gently dipping on the left, just noticing where that stretch is here in the groin and down the inner thigh and then dipping on the right and again just noticing that stretch and dipping on the left just maybe a little deeper now <sighs> you can play with the counter lean versus the non counter lean see kind of how that changes the dynamic let's go over to the other side dipping on the right not counter leaning and then Counter leaning, exploring that a little bit, giving that stretch a breath or two to just relax into. And let's go again over to the left. This time I'm going to add an arm, maybe even gaze up, adding a little twist, making that a more dynamic stretch. And then coming back to center, dipping on the right, and adding that arm, making that more dynamic. You can play with looking up into your elbow or past your elbow and over, or maybe out where your hand is pointing or straight ahead. Just notice how that changes the dynamic in the body and the focus of the stretch for me some point the focus goes away and then I'm focused on protecting my neck. It's probably partly because I have a little hitch in my giddy up in my neck. <laughs> Let's get into that stretch again a little bit more. One more time, dipping on the left and actually bring the feet just a little bit wider. So notice how that changes the stretch. Dipping on the left, bring that right arm over Try to keep both feet nice and stable, toes pointing forward, looking up into the elbow, and then coming back to upright and dipping on the right, and feeling into that stretch. I'm using my hand here for support and also just to kind of uh, accentuate that crease in the hip. And that stretch also for stability and then looking up into that elbow mm. and coming back to center let's walk the feet together a little bit to about hip width apart and I'm going to 
to do what I call hip slides. So keeping the feet rooted under the hips. I'm going to slide them over to the left, keeping these hip bones relatively perpendicular to the floor plane. So I'm trying to slide along that plane as opposed to not tilt like I just was doing, but rather slide back and forth, sliding over to the left. I'm trying to keep my weight evenly distributed on my feet. The temptation is to shift the weight all the way over to the side you're sliding. But I find if I can root this opposite side and kind of push into, so I'm pushing from this foot through the hips into this hip and kind of pulling down a little bit at the end of that. Let's go the other way. Shifting to the right and really focusing on pushing through the left, pushing through those hips, pulling down a little bit. This is a part of some belly dance training. This is a modified version of that in case it looks or feels familiar. If you've done any belly dance training, this would be a part of one of the basic moves that you might learn. Anyway, hip sliding over to the left. Again, for me, that brings a stretch very much up into my low back where I have all kinds of hitches in this giddy up today. Pushing again with the left foot through the hips over and to the right. And how about one more time? Pushing into the left, pushing into the right, really trying to feel that through the abdomen and the low back here. Ah. <sighs> Hmm. Let's jiggle that out a little bit, shake it out, and I'm going to push into the hips themselves, just side to side. So do be careful if you're following along. You don't want to push that. This is a ball and socket joint, so you don't want to push it out of socket, but it is good to keep it stretched and limber and really, you know, explore the range of motion in there. So that's what I'm going to do here by kind of swinging the hip and in this case I am taking weight off the right pushing into the left for me that feels really good so it's easy to get into and just explore that range of motion although I have had hip injuries at times that make that uncomfortable and I encourage you again to really listen to your own body here explore in a respectful loving playful way and if you're pushing yourself make sure that feels you know, aligned and within the within the parameters of what's good for your body. Coming back to center, and now I'm going to push over and to the right, and just gently explore that. It's also good to warm these things up so you start off more gently and then increase the intensity as you go along. In case that needs reminding, I will put that reminder out there. So again, now pushing into the left to give that a little rub and then just really exploring that range of motion a little bit more. Again, I'm, I have almost all my weight on my left foot. I'm just using this right foot on the toe for support and kind of just really exploring that range of motion with that hip coming back to center. And now taking weight off the left, pushing into the right, and again just exploring that range of motion, getting a nice stretch through the hips. You gotta keep those hips limber so they'll be useful for you. They do so much. I'm gonna come back to center and just whoa, shake all that off. Give a nice breath or two. Let's do a little little breathing in and out. I like to get the knees involved, lifting the arms, filling the lungs, and then ah, just let that go. Let's do that a couple times. Breathing in, filling the lungs, and then ah, just letting that go. Relax. One more time. Breathing in, holding up top, and then ah, and hold at the bottom for just a few seconds. Mm, I hope you're doing whatever feels good for you, managing your stress, remembering to bring your tools to work with you, to your relationships with you, to your uh, own, to your morning and evening walk, whatever, whatever you do, you can bring these tools of de-stressing and self-loving 
incorporating more fitness and more freedom and more playfulness and more alignment, more lightheartedness into your experiences. I wish that for you. I wish that for me. I wish that for us all. And I thank you for stopping in and being a part of it with me. I welcome your questions and comments. In the questions and comments section, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel if it calls to you to do so. Uh, if you want to find other ways of connecting with me and supporting me, check out the description. I got books and courses and music, oh my, and probably some other things down there too. Again, I thank you for being kind to you, stopping by to say hi to me. Until next time, peace.